everyone, and welcome to the first of Station Society interviews, where we learn more about some of the university's extracurriculars and the people behind them. My name is Laura, and today I'm joined by Ragvi Arya, the president of the St Andrews Guild. Hello, and thank you for being with me here today. Hey, thanks, Laura, for having me. So to start with, would you like to briefly introduce yourself and your society for those watching at home? Sure, so my name is Ragvi. I'm going into my fourth year studying economics and management. Um, the Guild is essentially a collegiate society which has um, five kind of main member societies at the moment, and that is the Economics um, Society, the School of Management, the Management Society, Investment Society, and Playfair Consultancy Group. And the purpose of the society is to kind of foster better collaboration between these different member societies, as well as just generally have the Guild itself promote careers and earlier development within St Andrews. OK, that sounds great. So the first question is about you joining with other societies. So why did you think that was necessary and what are the benefits of doing so? Yeah, so um, I have a friend who's on the investment society and we had kind of a long conversation about careers in St Andrews. I was part of uh, Playfair and so was he as well. Um, and we kind of decided that although there was quite a lot of support out there currently for students, in terms of each of the societies separately hosting different kind of um, career related events we thought that it might be a lot better if they pooled their resources and together we put on maybe like one cv event rather than each society doing separate ones for example and using kind of the best resources and speakers and things that we had as a group um, another issue is that sometimes these individual societies tend to compete for the same kind of resources like the same students, the same sponsorship, et cetera. And by kind of pulling them into one collision, we can go out and we can speak to companies and get them to kind of give us the money needed. And also we can say, um, hey, Goldman Sachs, we want to host an event. And instead of, I don't know, the investment society saying your event will cater to our group of whatever it is, 300 people, we can say as a guild, we have a network of like a thousand people. So if you come up and you speak to everyone at once, it will be kind of much more worth your time. Um, so that was the idea behind kind of grouping them and making sure that students at St Andrews are able to kind of reach the most competitive roles and internships and the biggest firms by having the kind of resources to do that. That sounds great. That definitely sounds like a more efficient way of doing things. So the next question is inspired by an article that I read on your website entitled The St Andrews Misconception That Good Grades Are Enough. And you mentioned that you hope to act as the first port of call for students to consider their career options. So why is it important to start considering your career as early as first year? So I think that um, a lot, of, I mean, I'm getting into my fourth year and I see that a lot of my friends are thinking about what they want to do after they graduate and they really don't have any idea because obviously when you're at university the main kind of thing that you're focusing on is your academics but not everyone wants to do a master's or a PhD and go into academia and if you don't want to do that then you do need to spend time considering what else you are really interested in um, and I think that just like putting yourself out there and getting involved in things is the best way to do that. And that could be through the right extracurricular activities. It could be through work experience and internships. And my, uh, I myself have done quite a few kind of internships over the year and I've really been able to figure out what I am interested in, what I'm really not interested in as well through that. And I don't think that I would have been anywhere near as prepared as I am for any recruiting seasons um, without having done it in previous cycles because you don't want to get to your fourth year and be like at a stage where this is the first application you've ever sent out and I think a lot of industries as well really promote earlier career development now so for example if you do want to get into banking um, the best way is to do a spring week um, which leads to a summer internship which leads to a graduate role and those spring week opportunities, you need to apply to them in the summer of your first year. And so you need to know by that point that this is something that you might be interested in so that you do go ahead and take those opportunities rather than kind of um, just like ignoring everything until your fourth year. 
yeah it's definitely important to be prepared especially right now with covid and everything and applications being delayed or they're not happening at all so what events are you looking forward to next year that incoming students can get involved in um so nothing is kind of fully confirmed just yet but i'm keen to do sort of a, a cv and cover letter workshop at the beginning of the year um, and then also I want to do more kind of partnered events with other universities across the UK. So, for example, uh, the Oxford Guild, the LSE uh, Business Investment Group, um, groups like that that do put on really great events. And I think that students at St Andrews should have access to kind of all the things that they're doing, too. Um, I also want to promote kind of better events within our member society. So the initial idea was that each member society hosts their own sort of flagship event as well. So, for example, um, that might be a presentation night or a pitch event or something like that. Um, yeah. Sounds great. Um, of, of all students, of course, can benefit from the career and CV guidance that is available on your website. And I would encourage everybody to go and check that out. But are there any opportunities for students to get involved in writing articles for your website or even getting involved in the Guild's leadership team? Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, there's two parts um, that you can be involved in with the Guild. One is obviously become part of one of the member societies and the other is to get involved with the Guild itself. Um, currently, we have quite a small team and I like that because it means that we can kind of operate almost like a startup rather than a, a big like bureaucratic committee. Um, but uh, always looking for applications and uh, dedicated students to help out in any way that they want. Um, so, you know, you don't necessarily need to be like head of X or, you know, treasurer position or anything. But if you want to come and, you know, set up a new division with us, like I had a, a, a fresher message me a few weeks ago saying, oh, I really want to start an entrepreneurship division in the Guild and we've got that going now. Um, just because he reached out to me, um, things like that. So anything that you think that we need to be doing, if you just kind of message us on any of our social media or you drop me an email, um, would be really happy to kind of get things going further. That sounds great. Um, so what is one piece of advice that you would give to incoming students as a fourth year? I think just um, get involved in things that you love to do I think the the other side of it is that some students get so obsessed with their career that they only do the things that they think they need to do to get ahead but if you really love a society or you really love you know doing a certain thing that you then you should put your all into that thing and um th that will be fine you'll you'll know kind of what you might be interested in going into because you, you know you found it um but if you're not sure then you should just try out lots of things and don't be afraid to quit either if you don't feel like something is right for you um, because everything is almost like this hypothesis that you're testing and you need to get to like a stage hopefully by fourth year if not I mean you can keep going and just like try things out even into the early stages of your career until you find something that you're more content with. And with that, I'd like to thank Ragby for joining me this afternoon and to everybody watching at home. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next year holds for the St Andrews Guild. Join me next time as I talk all things investment society with Ollie. See you then.